Welcome back to Buzz Recaps. Today I will explain. A romantic drama film released in 2007. Before moving ahead, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. The movie begins with a man named Nicola traveling in the Apulia region of Italy. And during his journey, he had an accident. Along with Nicola in that accident, a man named Dario also lost both his legs. And they were both kept in a hospital. After living in that hose hospital for months, they both wanted to have fun and go outside. However, they were stopped from leaving. They both knew that if they were lying on the bed all day, their legs would not be able to get well. And meanwhile, they didn't understand why doctors locked them in the room. Later that day, a beautiful nurse named Lucia came to Nicola. She was Nicola's new physiotherapist. And because of that, Dario started feeling jealous. Lucia started treating Nicola and he started liking her day by day. He started thinking about Lucia day and night and screaming her name in his dreams. Because of this, Dario started getting scared. Later, Dario started demanding money from Nicola for keeping his secret about Lucia from his girlfriend Sarah. And even after a million attempts, Nicola couldn't stop thinking about getting close to Lucia. One day, Dario called a girl named Nadine to meet him. And he started telling Nicola that she was his physiotherapist. Then Nicola found out that Nadine was a prostitute. And Dario told him to keep an eye outside on the door. And because of all that, Nicola started getting scared. Suddenly a nun from the hospital came there and Nicola tried to stop her. When the nun found out about Nadine later along with fixing his legs, Nicola tried to come close to Lucia, and one night Nicola told Dario that he could stand on his feet again. Because of Lucia, Nicola was getting better, and one day Lucia understood that Nicola had started to like her. She ignored him and didn't give him attention. And then Nicola and Lucia started getting close to each other, and that's why Nicola started getting happy. Later, Nicola found out that Dario was leaving the hospital, because the doctor said that he won't be able to walk again. Nicola and Lucia both were upset to see him in that condition, and Nicola started telling him that he shouldn't lose his courage. Later, one night, while spending time with her friends, Lucia got worried about something in her mind. She fell into a deep thought and came out of the restaurant. And when a taxi stopped in front of her, she went to the hospital in a taxi without wasting any time. She was falling in love with Nicola, and she told Nicola that she would get married in a week, while she couldn't stop thinking about him. That night, they expressed their love for each other and had a quality time. However, the next morning, Nicola started regretting his time with Lucia, because he had cheated on Sarah. As soon as Lucia got married, she left the hospital, and one day Nicola found out about his new physiotherapist. After seeing that woman, he started thinking that he was getting punished for his sins by a physiotherapist, and he was ready for this punishment. Later in the same hospital, two people named Franco and Manuela came to meet a doctor. They got married a few months ago and they couldn't have a child. They wanted a child, but because of complications, Franco couldn't become a father. They want to have a child through surrogacy with their choice with good genes. And because of Italy's law, they couldn't do it. They were told that after a month of pregnancy, they would have to go to Spain. And they got ready for that. As soon as she became pregnant, Manuela's behavior changed. She started getting worried because of her mood swings. And Franco also started getting affected by that. Manuela started considering herself ugly. So she started doubting Franco. She started making a drama in front of everyone. And she started humiliating Franco. While Franco didn't say anything to her. Later at night, she apologized to Franco for her behavior. Meanwhile, he wasn't angry with her. A few days later, it was time for them to go to Spain. And they went to the hospital in Spain, which looked like a five-star hotel. After the checkup, they started waiting for a taxi and then they met two strange people. They wanted to take Franco and Manuela with them to explore Spain. They wanted to take them to Spain for a tour, and they agreed to go with them. They went to the beach, and Manuela had to be a part of their strange behavior. Because of them, Franco got sick, while Manuela got angry because it was important for Franco to be well. And despite being sick, Franco went to the hospital. And after completing his work, he came back to Manuela. He started taking more care of Manuela than before, and he happily waited for his child to be born. He was always waiting for his child to be born. He wanted to have a son. And that's why he started dreaming about his son. They both went back to their home. And Franco started thinking about his son more and more anxiously. But a few months later, they were told they would have a daughter. Franco was surprised to hear that. Well, he couldn't tell Manuela that he wanted a son. In the end, he changed his mind and happily started waiting for his daughter with Manuela. Later, a man named Filippo lives a little away from the city, who has always wanted to be a father. He wanted to have children. However, he couldn't be a father because he was gay. Filippo's boyfriend, Fosco, made him a part of the family at the wedding of his sister, Elena. 
Meanwhile, Fosco's father didn't want to accept him because of his backward thinking. Still, Fosco didn't give up. Elena was the closest to her brother. And when she told everyone that she wanted Fosco and Filippo to get married, they were embarrassed by everyone's reaction. Fosco's father got angry because of that. And he told Fosco that he has to be embarrassed every day because of him. He started saying bad things to him. And he said that they can live together and they can never marry each other. Fosco started to pity his father's thinking. While he couldn't do anything about him, Fosco and Filippo also argued about the things that happened during the wedding. They were also worried about the fact that they would never be able to marry each other in Italy. One day Fosco's friend Esmeralda came to meet him, and she told him that Filippo was going to marry Fosco in Spain. Hearing this, Fosco was surprised because he started thinking about his father. And when she talked to Filippo about that, he told him he was thinking about doing that. He hadn't made any decision yet. Fosco knew that marriage and having children were also not right, and that's why he wasn't ready for all of that. Suddenly their argument increased, and Fosco got angry at him and started going away from him. Later that night, Fosco went to his father. He understood that Filippo had fought with his boyfriend. That's why he gave Fosco the keys to his house to spend the night. However, when Fosco reached his father's house, he discovered that Elena had left her honeymoon and returned to that house. She also fought with her husband. That's why she left her and came back to her house. On one hand, Esmeralda was trying to make Filippo feel better. On the other hand, Fosco was refreshing his childhood memories with his sister. Later that night, Filippo sat in Fosco's father's taxi by mistake. And for the first time they talked, Fosco was not a person who was humiliated like Filippo. That's why he told Fosco's father that he shouldn't interfere in his son's happiness. He was trying to raise his voice against him. That's when Esmeralda came over there and ruined everything for him. A few moments later, Fosco returned to his house while he couldn't open the door. He asked some boys to help him. And when he tried to thank them, those boys started beating him up because he was gay. The matter was out of hand and those boys beat him up badly. Unknowingly, Filippo was lost in the joy that he had raised his voice against Fosco's father. Fosco had to be admitted to the hospital and Filippo went to meet him. The two apologized to each other and their fight was resolved, after which Fosco left the hospital and decided to go to Spain and marry Filippo. The two went to Spain and reached the court late for their wedding appointment, and because of the delay, their witnesses left. Filippo kept asking people to become witnesses so that they get married, and Fosco didn't change his mind. Somehow, a girl named Cecilia was ready to become a witness. That day during the wedding, when Cecilia saw Fosco and Filippo, she understood for the first time what true love is. Soon, a man named Ernesto, a waiter in a luxurious restaurant in Rome, was about to arrive in Cecilia's life. Ernesto was unhappy with his married life, but one night he met Cecilia, and his life changed. Ernesto immediately tries to impress Cecilia, and Cecilia is happy to know that she got a job in the restaurant because of Ernesto. Ernesto felt that Cecilia liked him, and he started thinking about her. The next day, the two met. While working, Ernesto discovered that someone was fighting with Cecilia in the kitchen. Hearing that fight, he helped Cecilia, and their friendship grew slowly. One night they met alone on the roof, however. Suddenly, someone came there and they had to hide. Ernesto then found out that his daughter had come with her boyfriend. And to hide the truth of Ernesto's presence, Cecilia told her she had come with her boyfriend. Cecilia and Ernesto had a friendship, and that night, Cecilia started falling in love with him. She told him that her father left when she was a child, and when she got pregnant, her husband left her. And that's why she never got the love she always wanted. Cecilia's father is a bus driver, and to see him, she travels on his bus sometimes. However, her father couldn't recognize her yet. Later, she started meeting Ernesto on the roof every day, and he started trying to make her feel better. Cecilia had started liking him and wanted to have an affair with him. Ernesto was surprised to hear that, and later, they started having an affair. Cecilia started spending time with him and Ernesto felt younger in his new relationship. However, one night, they snaked into a house and the owner's dog started following Ernesto. Somehow, they came out of the house and then the house owner caught them at the gate and Ernesto had to pay him money to let him leave. Later that night when he went home, his wife started doubting him that he might be hiding something. While Ernesto tells her the truth about his affair, However, his wife forgives him for his affair, while Ernesto is shocked to see his wife like that. And she starts thinking about why his wife wanted to stay with him after his affair. He started packing his bag and told his wife that she should kick him out of the house for his affair. Later, with time, Ernesto slowly understood a big difference between Cecilia's life and his own. And because of his age, he won't be able to endure Cecilia's young life. Cecilia took him to parties with him, and one night, while dancing, he had a heart attack. The next morning when he woke up, 
Ernesto told her in the hospital that he should have never started this affair. He understood that he should spend his life with his family, so he ended his affair. Ernesto and Cecilia decided to live as friends. In the end, Cecilia went to her father and told him that she was his daughter. Cecilia's father still didn't accept him. Instead of being upset, she happily returned to her home. Lucia married the same man whose radio show everyone listens to, and Ernesto started telling his story through that show. He said that even now he thinks about Cecilia sometimes, and when he spends time alone, he realizes he can't love anyone as much as his wife. With that, the movie ends here. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Take care.